May is Melanoma Awareness Month, and it's worth taking note. That's because more than a million people in the United States are diagnosed with skin cancer each year, and one person dies of melanoma every hour. Identification is key to beating skin cancer, and joining us now with the ABCs on early detection is Dr. Jennifer Stein from NYU's Langone Medical Center. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Um, we just heard a study recently about the top cities that are aware and making changes in their lives, and then some cities that weren't doing the same. Um, what are you finding? as far as people's awareness and then their actions. So the good news is that a lot of people are aware of the risk of skin cancer, but not everyone's changing their behavior yet. So that's still something that we have to work on. So if you think that possibly you have something on your skin, um, we have a, a graphic that we can show everyone. This is the A, B, C, D, and E of detection and evaluation. So um, explain to us what's this. Um, for A, we have asymmetry. Right, so this is a guide that was developed 25 years ago at NYU to help people remember some of those important warning signs of melanoma, A, B, C, D, E. So A stands for asymmetry. So if you have a spot on your skin where one side looks different from the other, that can be a sign of a melanoma. B stands for border irregularity. So any mole you have on your skin should have an even border, shouldn't have a tail sticking out or a zigzaggy side. C stands for color. Moles should be even in color. The more colors, the more worrisome. D stands for diameter or size. So if you have something larger than a pencil eraser, you should have that looked at. And E stands for evolving or changing. So if you always had a mole that looked a certain way and now it's getting bigger, darker, the color's changing, bleeding, itching, if you're worried about it for any reason, get to your dermatologist right away. Those are good tips. Now, what about the difference between someone who has darker skin, someone who has lighter skin? Because so a lot of people think maybe if you have darker skin, you're safe. Well, fortunately, people with darker skin certainly are at a lower risk for skin cancer because the natural pigment helps to protect them. But they can get skin cancer too, including melanoma, and it can be deadly. So the spots for people with darker skin to look for are the hands and feet. Those are the highest risk areas. If you have a new spot on your palm, sole, or nail, get it looked at right away. Okay, what about men and women? Um, we all dress differently, and so there's different exposure levels to parts of your mm. bodies. How can that affect you? So the most common spot for melanoma in a man is the back, and the most common spot in women is the leg. Okay. Um, now, tanning beds. Mm. They've gotten a lot of bad press and for good reason lately. Um, these days, if someone's going to get tanning, we'd, we'd be worried. Um, what are the recommendations as far as that goes and how much of a, a, a risk are you exposing yourself to skin cancer if you're going to use them? So we're definitely recommending against using tanning beds. So people who start using tanning beds before age 35 can, are at a 75% higher risk of melanoma, which is a deadly form of skin cancer. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then what's a typical treatment if someone, you do find either a mole or mm -hmm. something, what, what are you doing with patients? So if a patient has a skin cancer and it's caught early, we can cure it just by removing it from the skin, just with a minor office procedure. But if skin cancer, if melanoma is caught too late, it's very difficult to treat. And right now the treatments really aren't very good. So a lot of research is going into that. Okay, so sunblock and keeping an eye mm -hmm. on your body is definitely the Most way to important. go. Most important, yes. All right, Dr. Jennifer Stein from NYU's Langone Medical Center. Thanks so much. Thank you.